Hey fish folk, you may recognize this 20 gallon aquarium as the guppy breeding tank, but that's not the case. This is actually an Amazon tank. We've completely redone it, so you really need to check this out. It's super cool. So basically, this tank is now our attempt to replicate the Amazon biotope. Uh, we have a pair of brilliant uh, Epistogramma cockatoides. They're actually considered a sand sifter. So what they will do is, as they're swimming around kind of mid to low section, is they will bite the sand, they'll pick up a bunch of sand, they'll sift through it, they'll spit the sand out their gills and they will eat any food that may be laying in the sand, maybe little scuds, little tiny pieces of infusoria, whatever's down there. We have a cave that we bought at our pet store. So when the cockatoides breed, the, they will lay eggs inside there and the female will guard inside the cave. We're also drying out some oak leaves so that once they are dried out and all brown, we can add them in the bottom of the tank and they will add tannins to the water, which will enhance the Amazon fish to breed. Currently, the male here is definitely the dominant fish. He loves to snack on live brine shrimp, which is what we have. We have our brine shrimp hatchery that will take a little syringe. We'll suck a bunch of brine shrimp up, live brine shrimp, We'll put it in here and we'll kind of push the lid against it so it can just sit there. And the live brine shrimp fall out out of the tube where the fish shrimp, fish and shrimp can eat it. Whereas the brine shrimp eggs float to the top of the syringe. So it's a way of getting less debris floating around in your aquarium. And he just loves to eat it. The water you have to raise brine shrimp in is also has salt in it you have to add salt to raise them and when you feed them the live brine shrimp the salt gets in the water and so adding salt to the water can add electrolytes which is really good for the fish it makes them stronger a little bit more healthy we have a school of around eight silver tip tetras and they they keep the tank active and lively if you're sitting in a chair you can uh, easily see them because they're moving around quickly, chasing each other, finding little pieces of food that they like to eat. Sometimes they'll, they, at night, they like to hide inside the wisteria, as do all of the fish and shrimp. Our cleanup crew is somewhere between 20 and 30 ghost shrimp that were born in this tank. We had a group of about eight ghost shrimp in here. Uh, we decided that we had just too many deaths and that they weren't doing well in this soft water down here. So we decided to move them upstairs into a another tank where the water was harder and it was better for their exoskeleton. But in the process, we accidentally left one in here and that particular one was pregnant. It gave birth to all of these tiny baby shrimp and over the course of time, they rose up in here and now we have a colony of about 30 of them and they're already starting to breed second generation ghost shrimp. We now have some dwarf cichlids as well as tetras. We recently added a, a middle tank into the stack that will be featured in another uh, soon to be posted video. But our main focus in this video is on this Amazon 20 long gallon aquarium. Alright fish folk, share your feedback in the comments below. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications. Till next time, give your fish a hug.